Uh, yes, I, I, uh, uh, my, my webcam is not working at the moment, Presenta, so no, that you're not going to be able to see my beautiful face, but uh, I'll, uh, it'll be up and running by the next, by the next webinar. Don't worry about that. And um, how about, uh, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. How about um, uh, uh, trading? Do you guys trade? Let's start by that, right? And if you if you do trade, what kind of um, uh, products do you trade, or what markets do you focus on? All right. So let me just uh, no, that's uh, the fifty minute chart I'm going to be using here, and uh, well, I could jump in on on a range chart, but that's I mean that that'll make you things too complicated. Oh yeah, so I have some forex traders, forex traders, forex traders, forex and gold. Yep, uh, that's my jam too. Forex and gold. That's the that's what I like to trade. Um, and uh, some indices too. Yeah, I mean, I, the DAX is one hell of a product to trade. Um, and that's it. And uh, I and um, I don't I I don't uh, know how to pronounce your name and if I'm pronouncing it pronounce it pronouncing it uh, incorrectly i'm sorry uh self um and i mean uh, if you lost money by trading i mean uh, that's just the way uh this works right uh you are going to lose money when you start trading that's a given you are going to do that i mean you are going to lose money that's your that's the fee that you're going to pay but here at trading mode what we want uh to help you with is to minimize that loss of money and even uh, we are trying to make you earn money while you learn right that's why we developed this premium uh, package or these premium services that we have uh, uh trollen no uh we don't have a webinar scheduled tomorrow but i mean guys if he uh if you enjoy this webinar um i recommend you to to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we, we are going to start putting out videos every single day. Uh, myself and uh, another colleague and also Matias, we're going to start putting videos every day. I'm going to be focusing more on, on currencies. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, sorry for interrupt you, uh, Orlando. So maybe um, the answer to yeah. do you have a webinar tomorrow is a yes. We have a webinar tomorrow, but it's only for a premium users. Oh, I'm maybe sorry. I'm a premium member, and then of course you have a webinar tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, if you want to assist the webinar, I'm, I, I'm sorry I didn't I didn't uh, look at the schedule, but yeah, apparently no we do have a webinar tomorrow. It's okay, not your cool. bad. So no, <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we do have a webinar tomorrow. Uh, and, if, and if you are enjoying, I mean, it's for premium members. And uh, I, I mean, guys, uh, uh, I'm going to start the webinar right now. I'm, and uh, if you have any questions during the webinar, I mean, just uh, uh, write them on the uh, on the chat. And I'll go back and forward uh, to the chat um, just to answer all of, all of your questions. So let's start by, uh, uh, I mean, uh, by what it, uh, by, by defining what is a um, trading style, right? Uh, the trading style can be defined by various uh, um, by various concepts. One, the time frame that you that you trade on, or the products that you trade on, or the asset classes that you trade on, and uh, uh, the path that I that I use to learn or to discover my 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 um my trading style was simple well it was complicated it took me a while but but at the end i mean in in retrospective it was simple because i started by trading the lowest time frame the one minute time frame i was scalping the markets and uh i quickly realized that uh, um i couldn't handle getting in and out of the market um for a three or four people win. I mean, that, that didn't make sense to me. I know some people that do high frequency trading and even do manual high frequency trading there are that, that, that are successful, right? But that was not uh, for me. So basically what you need to start doing is uh, focusing on a time frame, right? Um, 
for example, let me show you the one minute chart, all right? This is the one minute chart on the Euro US dollar. And if you look at it, I mean, it's cleaner than the four hour chart. Let's go back to the four hour chart or, or let's go to the hourly chart. I mean, the one minute chart looks a lot, a lot cleaner than the one hour chart and that is true but the thing about that is that these clean moves are very small for example from this low to this high we only have a nine pips all right we only have nine pips so in order to day trade i mean in order to scalp the markets on the one minute chart you need to be able to get in on the market and five minutes later get out i don't know the rules that you you impose when when you scalp but uh you need to you need to be in front of the computer every single day and that just didn't work for me because it didn't give me enough time for studying it just gave me gave, gave me gave me time for trading so i went on to to uh, to um uh, to upgrade to the 50 minute chart for example uh, yes to the 50 minute chart and uh, i started to look at some trading systems online uh, and i got scammed guys i'm going to tell you i got scammed uh, i remember i'm going to tell you sorry i remember that uh, back in the day uh, when i was uh, re when i was uh, looking for trading systems online i uh, bumped into a uh, company that sold the greatest trading system in the whole wide world right and it costs about uh, 500 dollars, so i bought it and uh, when uh, i got it i realized that it was a simple moving average trading system so at 500 dollars because it was only a, a slow moving average and uh and uh and a fast moving average that gave you a trading signal when it crossed over right which it, which completely sucks because on ranging markets you're going to get a lot of false signals so not only i got scammed but i lost money trading that system so coming back to the yeah to the chart that is a longer time frame than the one minute chart of course but for me it was still too tight of a time frame and the main reason is because i started to realize that i was getting caught up in the noise what is the what is the noise well it's this simple choppy price action for example here on the 50 minute chart that uh is just uh, a small bit well this was for the past uh, for the past day we have been chopping around the 11360 level on the euro us dollar so be, so, so i might have taken uh, a bad example to show you is, but but uh, but uh, if you uh, I mean if you if you see uh, let me just go back in time a little bit and uh, example um, I was trying to trade um, to I was trying to make uh, big wins right on the 15 minute chart which is uh, basically impossible so I upgraded to the hourly chart and I started to look at um, I started to look at uh, uh, trading uh, at, at, at indicators. I'm sorry. So I dabbled with the RSI a little bit, the MACD. I started, and for a while, I, I was very into um, uh, divergence with uh, price action and the and the MACD, right? And uh, uh, for a couple of years, I used to uh, I used to go. Uh, um, I used to go to uh, the um, uh, mean divergence as a final uh, trading signal. You on the one hour chart, and now I trade the daily chart or the four hour chart. All right. So yeah, the Euro US dollar is. The, and I'm sorry about that, guys. So um, I mean, I'm going to show you my favorite currency pair to trade, which is the GEPI or the GP Japanese yen, the, the pound against the yen right uh because it has some very, very uh explosive moves all right so this is the daily time frame on the uh british pounds against the japanese yen i'm going to show you again the uh um the hourly on this currency pair 
and the 50 minute chart. So I'm telling you all this because the first thing you need to understand or, or you need to focus on uh, in order to uh, really uh, start to understand who you are as a trader is on which uh, time frame you are comfortable trading in, right? For example, uh, like I told you, I'm sorry, I am definitely not comfortable trading below the four hour chart. Why? Because my trading has evolved to, um, uh, my trading has evolved to, um, to um, a global macro trading. This means that I focus on, on uh, economic policies and uh, uh, central bank decisions to, to, uh, to get a bias on a currency. And then after I get a bias on the currency, what I do is I go to um, um, to the charts and I choose a, uh, a financial product to trade that currency. For example, if I'm looking at uh, Brexit right now, right? Um, and uh, tomorrow we have an uh, interest rate decision uh, by the Bank of England. And uh, for, let's say that they they hike the interest rate. That's going to be bullish on the on the British uh, on the British pound. So I'm going to be looking to buy the British pound, and I'm going to choose the British pound against the Japanese yen to take that trade. That is that is my trading style. But again, I had to go through all of those uh, trading styles that I had just mentioned to find myself. And I know a lot of traders that just uh don't understand how i trade and they don't like it because these traders are just uh, too um uh too technically focused all right and and it's fine you can make money on the financial market trading technicals on the short time or shorter time frames but it, it's not my style i don't feel comfortable trading that way now the second the second uh, thing you need to focus on is the asset classes you're going to be trading. Like I told you before, I am very, I mean, 95% of my trading is currencies, right? 95% of my trading is currencies. And why? Because I bleed global macro. I mean, I understand macro, I understand what moves the market, and I understand how to take action on those decisions that are going to impact the market, the currency market. The reason that I couldn't make money trading stocks is because I couldn't understand certain moves or set certain events that made uh, the stocks move, right? So I, I went to currencies. And that is also the reason that I don't trade agricultural. For example, I don't trade coffee, corn, cattle, or anything like that because I don't understand the market. All right, and that that is a very important part of being a trader. If you don't understand the asset class that you or the market that you are trading, stay away because you are going to get eaten by sharks. All right, if you don't understand the market that you are trading, away. if you understand, I mean, if uh, if uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I. When I started to understand uh, to under uh, to understand global macro was in the university because I studied economics, right? And uh, macroeconomics was uh, was was uh, my favorite class, and uh, that's what drove me to uh, currency trading. And uh, my uh, what I want to do here at Tradingmo is uh, uh, just share my knowledge, right? Uh, what I want to do is. Uh, uh, make you understand how I see the market and, uh, and make you understand the, uh, the decisions or monetary policies and how they affect different currencies and how to take action on this and how to monetize on this. So basic step you need to take, right? You need to, uh, after, you, uh, after you look at the, the different time frames and uh, after you um, after you find where your comfort zone is, I mean, uh, you always hear all around the internet and social media, comfort zone will kill you, but not in trading, dude. In trading, the comfort zone is king. Where you feel comfortable is where you need to sit down and click that mouse. 
so basically first of all you need to understand and know and you need to find where that comfort zone is on the time frames then you need to go and uh, you need to uh study the different um uh markets are available for you to trade and in these days you can trade anything i mean uh, there's people that even trade uh, uh bitcoin which i'm being sarcastic about because i can't understand why people trade uh, uh cryptocurrencies uh, there's nothing behind it but that's n that's not the theme of this webinar and i um i'm going to be doing a webinar on cryptocurrencies and my view on cryptocurrencies later on this month but to get back to what uh, we uh to the uh, subject in hand uh first of all you need to uh find where your comfort zone is on time frames i mean for example some people are not comfortable holding on to trades for days or even weeks uh let me show you just uh, the my last trade on the uh on the on the british pound against the japanese yen uh, i don't have my platform here on this computer but basically what i did is um uh, i'm just gonna try uh, take some uh, horizontal ray i went short here guys boom this is where i went short all right this is the line where i went short and that was about uh uh on november 9th 2018 and i closed my trade during this flash rush on the yen on the yen pairs so basically i held on to that trade for a uh, about a month 37 th no 55 days this is the daily chart so i held on to that trade for 55 days but i made uh 1300 pips no i, I made more because i closed it at, at around uh, uh 34 and a half let's say that i made uh, thir uh 1350 pips and that i mean uh if you follow me on instagram or if you are a premium subscriber you, you already know about that trade because i share it with you uh hello uh, martin uh if you just join us uh if you just join us um uh just give it a minute just give it a minute uh yeah you're going to uh your, your, the screen should be loading so basically i held on to the trade for 55 days and uh, there are some people that cannot handle holding on to that trade uh, or holding on to trades for that long all right like there are people that cannot cannot uh trade and out of the market every five minutes and that is a different trading styles i i went through all of them and now i feel comfortable with this this is how i trade i trade volume levels and um uh i i scale in and out of the market then uh if we go to uh we were, we already went through uh the different asset classes and uh that uh, you need to feel comfortable with the market that you are trading and you need to understand the market that you are trading in order to be profitable all right now let's go on to money that is very important because uh money uh, i mean uh it depends on how i mean the markets that you're going to be trading depend a lot of how of uh, your equity for example if you want to trade uh, let's say that you want to trade oil or gold and you want to trade uh, oil futures right um if you want to trade oil futures you cannot trade oil futures with a, a two thousand dollar account you need a lot of money to trade futures so you might you might go to a forex broker and trade cfds on oil right so the money that you have on your account uh has a lot to say on the, which market uh, or which product you're going to be trading i trade forex and uh yeah i know you can start i mean brokers tell you that you can start trading forex for as little as a hundred dollars i don't recommend uh, that's just setting money on fire uh but you can start with uh, le uh with a lot less equity than you um, have to with uh, futures or stocks so that is also there 
And uh, you also you need to feel comfortable with the amount of risk that you are taking. Uh, for example, uh, if you take a trade and uh, you are nervous about the trade, it means that you are you are trading uh, uh, too too big. Uh, let's go back, let's go to the chat because I um, I see that uh, there's uh, unclear sound. AJ and uh, Martin, can you see my screen? I hope you can. If you can't. Uh, just tap, uh, just um, um, write it on the chat, and I'll have someone uh, look at it right now. Well, that's um, everybody. Er everybody else can see my screen. Okay, uh, let's continue, Martin. I I'm going to, uh, yeah, try to reload green, Martin, and uh, uh, if not. Uh, I'm going to have some someone in uh, support contact you. So let's continue. All right. Uh, and uh, let's uh, go through the times of the day that uh, you are available to trade because that is also very important in uh, finding your trading style. For example, if you're only available to trade uh, during the uh, uh, New York Open, for example, if you're only available from... Uh, 9 a.m. Uh, till uh, noon on New York time, you should definitely not be not be focusing on forex. You should be focusing more on um, equities, uh, stocks, or futures. Why? The reason is that if you trade, if for if you start trading for, uh, currencies at the New York Open, you are going to. I mean, you are going to trade. Uh, you're not going to be. You're not going to find um, great risk to reward scenarios. Why? Well, uh, let me show you. I'm going to show you right here. For example, I'm going to grab this one-minute chart on the Euro. Let's assume that this is a, a 50-minute chart. Whatever. Don't don't mind the uh, the time frame. So basically, uh, just uh, give me one second, guys. I'm going to grab the drawing tool. All right. So, basically, let's say that uh, this right here is the London Open. All right. Well, I'm sorry about. I apologize about my drawing, but uh, I feel that I can't control my mouse. So let's say that this is the London Open, right? And then we are looking, in fact, at the. Well, this is the British pound against the Japanese yen. And uh, let's. Uh, well. Um, the New York Open should be around uh, this level, okay, right here. So if you are trading currencies, most of the moves, uh, most of the moves start at the London Open or at the APAC session, right? So basically, if you are trading at the uh, at the at the at the London Open, the risk that you are going to be taking on your on your entries, for example, this is the entry, and this is the risk that you are going to be taking is smaller than what the risk that you would have if you were trading at the New York Open, which would be your entry around the, this level right here with the same stop loss. So basically, uh, the, the risk to reward scenario is not worth it, right? Because uh, if, you're, if you're trading a trading style that has a 60% um, um, from, um, um, of going your way, well, uh, you're going to be losing money. So basically, uh, the times that you're available to be trading or to, to be in front of your screen, clicking that mouse, uh, and, uh, getting in the, uh, in the market is very important, right? If you're in Europe, currencies might be for you, but if you are not available, uh, to uh, be at the London Open, I suggest I would suggest that uh, you stay away from currencies. Or, uh, I mean, if you if you if you develop a trading style like mine, that shouldn't be a problem because we because uh, I focus on the uh, longer moves, on the big moves, the big wins. So uh, it doesn't matter what time of the day uh, I'm in front of my screens. Well, I'm up at 3 a.m. because I'm uh, I'm in America, but um, um, 
I'm just uh, I I'm 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 up at 3 a.m. because I I not only trade forex, but because I focus on the longer time frames and the bigger moves, I don't have to be in front of my computer trading. I just I just put on a pending order. I uh, well I assess the risk, the setup, and I decide. Okay, this is this is the I mean the probabilities of this uh, scenario uh, going my way are very high. And the reason I know that the probabilities of this scenario uh, going my way are very high is because I already studied and I back tested that. So I just put a pending order and wait for the market to fill me. And uh, and I dedicate the the uh, and I dedicate my time to studying. All right, to back the, to study my trades, uh, looking for setups, etc. But if you are if you if you if you are if you start to develop your trading style onto a, a lower time frame trading style. That'll mean that you have to be in front of your computers to make quick decisions on how to enter the market and when to enter the market. And if that is your jam, well, and uh, it, well, if that if that is your jam and you are all, and you are only available during the New York Open, you should stay away from currencies because the risk to reward scenario on that uh, on that uh, trading style is not going to be good. I hope I made myself clear. Clear. If I didn't, uh, just uh, Take a moment to um, uh, type your questions on the chat, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So the time, uh, the times of the day that you are available to trade are very important on the developing your trading style. And again, guys, you cannot force a trading style. When I was uh, learning about ten years ago, maybe more, um, I tried to force myself to learn how to day trade. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I tried to um, uh, to force myself to learn how to day trade, and this is just now how this works, right? I mean, yes, you can choose uh, a trading style that you like, but you might find out that that same trading style that you like is really not profitable for you. And at the end, we are here to make money, nothing else. We are here to make our money work for us and to make more money. Now, this uh, and this uh, takes me to the final um, the final point of this webinar, which is the mindset of a trader. Now, then this is also very important. Once you've developed your trading style, it doesn't matter if you have uh, the perfect trading style or if you have the most profitable trading style. Because if you don't have the right mindset, you are not going to be able to make money here. And what is uh, when I when I when I uh, when I talk about mindset, what uh, what I'm talking about is how you look at what you are doing. For example, this is nothing more, but the, I mean trading is nothing more than simple math and probabilities, right? Of course. There is also a little bit of study that needs to be done. But when it comes to setups and when it comes to trading decisions, after you you agree on a bias, in my in my case, by looking at the economic policies of any big even country, the trades that I take are purely, purely based on math and probabilities, right? And I know. And for example, I look at four or five setups. I look for four or five setups that I know work for me because I've been trading them for a, for a long time and I have back tested them for years back. And I know that these setups have between a 70 and a 78% probability of working, right? And I know that because I have done the work and I have, uh, I have uh, back tested every single setup again and again and again back in price in, in historic price action. And because of that, I am not results oriented. And you don't, I mean, if you're results oriented, please don't trade because you are going to set your money on fire. And, and uh, let me explain to you what I mean by results oriented. But what I mean by results oriented is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter if your trade hits your targets or it hits your stop losses. To me, it really doesn't matter. 
it's the same and it really is i mean you win some you lose some it's all the same to me really i mean a losing trade is not going to break me and a winning trade is not going to make me going to be losing some trades on these set of that I trade everybody loses everybody loses trades and i know that i'm going to be losing some trades on the set of that i take but i also know that because of how profitable these setups are and because of my risk uh parameters meaning that i don't take any position if the the, the reward doesn't yield me at least twice of what i'm risking i'm going to be making money in the long run right and my game here is i mean when i take a trade i i, I don't look at the market per se right i look at numbers all right i'm risking um, this is a great setup for example uh, i mean i'm risking uh, uh, 40 pips here let's see the the uh the the uh pro, the the um, the target is that and uh, I know that I showed you that trade between the British pound and the Japanese yen that ran for 55 days. That is not, a, a, I mean, a simple thing to do. And uh, I do take tar uh, profits at given targets. For example, just take a look at this. Uh, let me just grab again the um, uh, the drawing tool. For example, uh, how do I delete everything? Oh, here. All right. So let's uh, and let's say that. Uh, uh, let's say that you're looking to buy here right it's not a set but set up or anything i just want to show you uh something uh the risk should be uh this i mean 143.80 144.40 that's 80 pips all right uh no that's 60 pips i'm sorry all right that's a 60 pip risk. yeah that is a 60 pip risk okay so before I even take the trade, or before I even consider taking the trade, I look at the uh, the targets that the market is giving me. And that's right, the targets are given by the market. I mean, I, I, I see a lot of people that uh, have calculated targets and terror targets. I use a lot of Fibonacci uh, retracement because I believe in ratios. Uh, but I what I look at the most for targets are value areas. And right here is one right oops i'm sorry about that right here is one and as you can see price went all the way up here and bounced back right before going higher so basically uh i look at this setup and i look okay so this is uh, yeah i mean i'm going to be risking 60 pips here what is the what is what the market is willing to give me and what the market is willing to give me goes all the way up to here, which is for 146.60. And if I'm entering a 144.40, that that should be uh, this is what the 60 chart, 144.40, uh, 100, 200, 200, and uh, 200 and um, what, uh, 220 pips or so. Yeah. So yes, I'm going. De I'm definitely going to be taking that trade because uh, that uh, I mean by taking that trade and and uh, uh looking that uh, trading decision if you go uh, if you take it over and over and over and over you are going to be printing money that is the right mindset of a trader all right uh, you need to leave your ego out of the table i mean kick it out uh, i mean kick it out of your system and what's important are the numbers all right all your decisions and what's important uh more than that is just um trying to optimize your every single decision okay and uh basically that's what i had to say about how to find your trading style if you have any questions i'm going to give you my email right here feel free to write me anytime you want i mean not anytime you want because if you start to, to ask me a lot of questions i might not answer but uh, uh i'll give you my email what best i'm going to give you a, a better a better deal um uh, our premium subscription is 49 dollars a month and you're going to get you're going to uh, be i mean i'm going i'm sh i share my trading ideas every single day on uh, our premium channel and 
uh, I share uh, uh, um, technical analysis, volume analysis, etc. And I'm going to give you this voucher. If you use this voucher, your subscription, I'm going to take 50% off your subs. I'm going to give you a 50% discount on your $49 subscription. But this is only for uh, these webinar attendees. And I hope you take it because this is, a, I mean, this is some crazy value for $29, guys. Come, I mean, for $25 a month. I mean, if you think uh, that uh, you can't afford it, I just don't have this, uh, don't, don't have the last four beers tomorrow that you're going to be drinking. And join us all right so uh if uh if you if you guys don't have any more questions about uh, how to find your trading style um uh i think uh, we'll be done here so hold on i see uh, some of you are typing i see some of you are typing so martin uh if if uh, if you if you could uh, okay, so Martin, if you couldn't, uh, if you couldn't, um, uh, I mean, if you had no screen during this webinar, don't worry about it. Uh, I will be uploading this webinar to YouTube. So uh, if uh, if if you want to uh, watch it, uh, just go to uh, YouTube and and uh, search for Tradimo and uh, just uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you'll be notified when it's up. So Alberto, how much money is needed to start trading on forex? Okay, so uh basically that's a tricky question right i mean uh, people that want to take advantage of you are going to tell you you know what uh you can start with as little as 100 dollars. in my opinion the bare minimum to start trading forex is a 2k account all right that gives you room uh to learn and gives you room for uh downswings for example because if you if you start with with hundred dollars, I mean, uh, you are not. I mean, you're going to burn your account, or you're going to, uh, yeah, you're going to be bur burning your account on uh, on a uh, on a small drawdown. So yeah, I think two thousand dollars is fine to start trading. I mean, and don't expect to get rich out of. Uh, uh, yeah, my but hold on. Uh, don't expect to get rich out of the two thousand dollars but uh if you if you learn how to trade uh alberto um if you learn how to trade and if you, you develop if you develop if you did if you develop a um a um an equity a good equity curve you can then look into managing managing uh, your family's funds or your friends funds you you uh, i mean that's how i did it I didn't. I didn't put up uh, two hundred thousand dollars of my own money to start trading. No, I started with a five thousand dollar account, and I developed a, a a good equity curve and a good trading history, so I could present it to to my um, family and friends, and I started managing their money. And that's how I did it. So, Masemba, uh, if you have a hundred dollar with a twenty to one leverage, that gives you a trading balance of thousand dollars. Yeah. Now, let me let me explain you this. Okay. It doesn't matter. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter if you have a two thousand dollar buying power, right? It doesn't matter if you have a if you have a two thousand dollar buying power. What matters if is uh, equity that you have on your account. If you are suffering from a drawdown, for example, if you have, if, let's say that that you have uh, five trades open and all, all and, and every single one of those five five trades are uh, going against you. You are going to get a margin call because your equity on your on your on your account is just a hundred dollars. And that's the reason that uh, I don't recommend starting with such a small uh, uh, equity. But I mean, I have done some crazy things, and I remember. I'm sorry that uh, one day. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. Let, let's see, Masemba. Yes, I mean, uh, it would, but uh, I mean, what you're telling me is that uh, with $100, that, 
you would get uh, with hundred dollars and that leverage you would get a two thousand buying power and uh, what i assume you were you were saying is that because you have a two two thousand dollar buying power you're going to be trading bigger and trading bigger means a, a higher risk right and uh, if you i mean if you let's say that uh, you only trade uh, you only uh, uh get to uh, one trade at a time right if you only get one trade at a time uh and if you have uh, a losing streak that i mean in this business happens i mean i've had uh, i have some big losing streaks that i don't even want to remember but it happens you are going to i mean you are going to get a margin call with a hundred dollars but if you if you have the actual two thousand dollars on your account you can give yourself room right you can give yourself room to support a drawdown and uh, get back up all right so uh, i'm going to be, be finishing this webinar guys i thank you all for attending it uh if you enjoy this content uh just please uh go to um, my to trade demos youtube channel i'll be uploading videos every single day and i urge you to take me on my offer uh of 20 25 dollars a month for premium services guys i mean uh, it's a crazy value that you are missing on all right so thank you thank you alberto uh thank you everybody for attending and uh, um i'll just wait for for you to uh uh, finish typing and uh, it was fun today. Uh, I mean, it was my first webinar with Tradimo. I'll be doing this more often and more often and often. And uh, uh, if you're subscribed to our newsletter, you will, you will be getting the invite again. Uh, also, I but I will also be doing webinars for uh, premium members only. So uh, if you want to get access to all of my content and uh, well, you can want to get access to, to my to me on a daily basis uh there you there i gave i gave you a big big um a big big uh gift with that 50 percent of voucher so again guys thank you a lot thank you uh i'm just going to wait for trupti ramanan to uh to type his questions and i'll be saying my goodbyes i was telling you uh yeah uh uh well uh and this was not too long ago maybe five years ago uh i i i wanted to see because i i i started to see a lot of uh, uh mentors right forex expert forex mentor forex guru popping out of everywhere right and and they all had like uh, these big huge re returns like i mean a hundred twenty thousand percent returns on their accounts right so uh i want to see what was that all about so i grabbed a 500 hundred dollar account and uh, <clears throat> i mean uh, w when i deposited those 500 dollars uh i knew that they were not mine anymore they were the markets because i was going to trade that account very aggressively and uh i did i mean i did uh my account did went up to uh, to a few thousands, but I mean to continue trading that account aggressively enough for 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 it to have uh, I mean six uh, figure percent reach had to continue to trade aggressively, and I ended up uh, uh, withdrawing three hundred and fifty dollars. So yeah, I mean uh, this is not a game of power, or this is not a game of uh, of uh taking big risks this is a game of knowing what you you are doing because you have done the math and do it that over and over and over and over and over and that's how i do it and uh i really hope i see you on the premium on our premium community on our premium chat room with ideas analysis etc and if not uh thank you for joining us and uh, uh goodbye guys